you know, you seem to know a lot about uh, retail, JD. Can you tell us about why you've got so much information and where you got your knowledge from? Um, well, I don't really know very, very much about it at all. I just make all this stuff up. Well, you're really yeah. good at making it up. I do. I, do. It's, it's, I learn it before I come to an interview like this. And uh, No, I'm actually a company. Is it called Google? Google. Yeah, Google. Google. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually a company company. So, uh, as you can see by these dirty hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, actually, the only danger that I have in my job is a paper cut. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah look, uh, I, uh, many thousands of years ago, I kicked off as the uh, as the marketing manager for... Well, when I say kicked off, I... I I was in the promotions department in a shopping centre called Roselands in Sydney, you may have heard of that, and uh, back in the 1800s when I was there. <laughs> That's why I didn't hear it. I don't know where... I, I don't know where we count her. I don't know where Naomi gets her sarcasm from. <laughs> yeah. um, and Never it's not becoming. It's not becoming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this Roselands is a big Westfield style shopping centre in Sydney and in my 20s I was lucky enough to screw a job in the, in the promotions area there. I knew nothing about marketing at that stage, but it was good ground, grounding. It was good. And Grace Brothers, uh, the big retailer around it. Um, I moved on to uh, work for Woolworths and I ended up becoming the marketing manager in the Woolworths Empire and that was a great, great experience because uh, they are, uh, you know, probably their equivalent to McDonald's in terms of te teaching you hardcore retail. Right. And throughout the Woolworths era, I was uh, exposed to a lot of their value-add promotions, which were the scratch games, uh, collect the stamps to, um, you know, you, you might recall. Um, oh, I, have, you, I you, have a story about you're, that. You're too young. Actually, no, I do have a story. Oh, really? I was talking to my mum this morning about that. She remembers that and she still has a pot. Really? Yes. No, who's going to bring the pot and wear it as a hat? I was going to bring it. Really? So she's so still got the she got pot. I was saying, I'm going to talk to this guy today. Do you remember those stamps? She went, oh my God, that was the best thing ever. She loved it. Now you think... You're, 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 sure you're amazing, Jodie. Of course. Well, <laughs> she's a very sensible woman. <laughs> but um, uh, you're sure that your mum's talking about that pot or some other... <laughs> <laughs> so I know that your mum's pretty funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. yeah. Um, Where yeah. else did she get it from? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, look, that was it. So you, you, for every five dollars, uh, you would get a stamp and you'd put it on a saver's sheet. And when you saved that stamp up, you would be able to get parts of the crockery range or the cookery range and what have you. Very successful. And uh, again, what that did was it took their eyes off the price. They knew that if they actually um, spent five dollars, they got a stamp. And then when they saved, I think it was fifty dollars worth of stamps, which means. 10 stamps. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking to someone here from an accountancy background, so I've got to make sure everything adds up. It's a quality Yeah, okay, good. So, uh, yeah, that was very successful. And I could see instantly what happened to the uh, sales uh, you know, trend of the business, and I thought, gee, this is pretty good. And when I left Woolworths uh, and went out and set up my own business, uh, we called it Dynamic Ideas at the time. Uh, a few of my friends thought the ideas were um, not good, so they called them Dynamic Diaries. <laughs> but Dynamic Ideas was the name of the business. We actually specialised in providing um, mostly retailers with uh, these value-add repetitive trade ideas. And so we got involved with the fast food chains and so the big boys like KFC and Pizza Hunts and Maccas. Um, and if you think about Maccas, they have probably one of the best loyalty schemes in the world because whenever they have their Happy Meal uh, go out that door, there's a toy in it. Yeah. And of course the kids have got to collect all the four toys from The Lion King or, you know, one that's of the right. Pixar movies. Um, and always I, one that's really hard to get. Yeah, well, well, no, no, that, only I was cheeky and did things like that. McDonald's, oh. McDonald's actually give you the four toys, yeah. <laughs> um, in your, what you're referring to was that... Uh, the chewing gum cards. Yeah, when I got involved in the bubble gum cards, and uh, I hope you're not dropping off, by the way. Yeah. This, this is interesting, well, at least to me. Yeah. Um, but when I got involved in taking out the licence for the bubble gum cards, the footy cards and so forth, um, I'll tell the story, which is... To me, funny, uh, but rather cruel. Um, we put a random selection of um, what we call chase cards in the pack. So when the kids would actually buy the bubblegum cards for $2, they'd get six cards in there, but every now and again they might get a gold sparkly card with Mal Meninga or whoever the footballer was. Yeah. And they were called chase cards because the kids chased for them. And they would only be in a few packs. Yeah. I had a a uh, father of uh, a child who was collecting my cards ring one day and he said to me, look, I'll pay anything. I'll pay $200, $300 for just card number 62. Just one of the ordinary cards, not the chase card. Yeah. And I said, oh, yeah, well, why? So look, my, my son has spent $300 on buying packs of cards. <laughs> he swapped with everyone at school and he can't get card number 62. Now, this will show you what loyalty scams can do for your business, right? And uh, he said, look, I'll just can I buy 62? I know that that's not the norm, but I'll pay $200 for it. I said, look, I'd like to help you, but we don't print a card number 62. 
62. <laughs> <laughs> he came through the phone and said, I'm going to report to you to the ACCC. And they said, no, 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 it was a joke. I'm sarcastic, all right? Yeah. I'll send card 62 yeah. out for free. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a happy camper after that. Yeah. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to create a loyalty scheme that's going to give them a benefit outside of the price discount that is going to be attractive to that target audience. And in Woolworths instance, with female shoppers, crockery, cookware, glassware. It's yeah. really important to know who your market is. Absolutely.